going to bring you guys with me quickly to a spot that I found a footprint last year. It's not very easy to find, but I think it's in here somewhere. All the mushrooms on the side of that tree. Oh. We got movement over here. I'd be really cautious about what it is this time of year. So the Esipus Creek comes through um, down there, like about oh, giant woodpecker. Wow, this is nasty. I don't know why there's so many bugs right there. So there's these smaller creeks that uh, funnel into the Esopus, Esopus, whatever. There's one right there. There's another one on the other side of this ridge that goes down the mountain another way. This one comes down the mountain this way. It's very, you could see it at that point right there. It's very dried out. And this is what we want. It's exactly what we want. So the idea is to go find where there is a little bit of water. Which should be right down here. Yep, look at this. Fresh break. I mean, look at this. Look how fresh this break is. Look at this. How much newer do you want it? I can smell it. And then this one too. Boom. So you might say, oh, this fell down and knocked that down and pulled it down. Fine. I don't even care. But look, there's a break over there going into it. Look at this. Right down to the water. Big guy marking his territory, maybe? Let's find out. There's deer tracks in there. This is where I found the footprint. It was, it was off. 
It was off a ways. So that little bit of trickle effect. It's a game trail deer coming through here. big tree comes right down to there. You can't ask for something fresher. You really can't. You can't ask for anything anything fresher. There goes a frog in the water. Deer tracks, deer tracks. That is, looks like canine, probably coyote. Nobody utilizes this side of this place. I don't want to go through here because it's just straight up poison ivy. There's poison ivy everywhere I go. Oh. This is exactly how I found it last time. I didn't cast it and I regret it. I regret it. Look at that deer print right there. My guess is there was a big guy here last night. Let's try and get some of this trash out of the stream. Check that out. This broken tree, look how fresh this broken tree is here too. Now you gotta wonder why it's there. Unless it just popped off of this one as it fell down. But that's a fresh one, very fresh. Looking to see maybe it cleaned up its own prints. Deer again, deer, deer. It is frog, tadpole season, everything. I mean, they are abundant. Everywhere I've been. I don't see any footprints, I was hoping. Oh, well up here, there's definitely a large impression a lot larger than everything we've seen consistent so far. So, possibly down creek further. I mean, this creek goes forever. I'm just trying to utilize what I have right here off of this bridge area. This is just one tiny section of a creek that goes, it goes all the way into the Esopus and comes all the way down the mountain. And there's two of them. There's one on each side. Yeah, see the prints I mean. If something heavier than me was to step in here, we'd know about. 
about it. Now mind you, it wasn't right here, right here. This is, I'm just kind of basing it off. It was in this general area. Might have been further down, might have been further up. But that fresh break made me say, okay, let's check this spot. Something might have stepped there. But that looks more like a bear. I don't know. Something. Yeah, it's, I think it's a bear. Shit. It's a pretty decent size. It would, so like, it looks almost like a heel, but when you go that way, I'll zoom in a little bit. When you come off of the impression here on this side, and it goes that way, this this way is not pressed down at all. It's only pressed down on that side, which makes me think it's a paw. Over on that side, there's a pretty big, but that could be from erosion. So, too close to the edge of the, too close to the edge of the water to, to tell. <clears throat> All right, it's really buggy. Really, really buggy. Cut the camera off in a little bit, guys. Just uh, do my own thing. Just wanted to bring you along for some of it, but uh, I got to trek a couple hundred feet up a hill. There's some pretty cool spots up here too, and it goes into some swampland. Really beautiful, beautiful preserve. You could actually see the ridge line up there. Where the ridge meets the sky. So that's just one of the ridges. It's warm this morning. Really warm. I want to thank you guys for being here. Appreciate you. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a blessed one. Stay safe. See you on the next one. Look at this bend. I gotta come back out this way, so maybe I'll pick up. Pick up again. But we'll see. I can't make my way around the whole place. And I don't have the time today. And I'm going in there. Alright guys, be good.